This tutorial is on working with layers in the AutoCAD drawing environment. Layers allow us to isolate objects so we can do things such as assign color and line type properties. We can also freeze layers to temporarily remove all the objects on that layer from the graphic display. To work with layers, we go to the ribbon set to uh, the Home tab and on the Layers panel we open the Layer Properties Manager. You can see that by default AutoCAD has created this layer 0 and it's a layer that AutoCAD uses during your drawing operations and it cannot be deleted. It will always be there in your drawing. What we're going to do is create a new layer and we do that by clicking this icon, the new layer icon and you can see that it now gives us a new layer and I can give it a name. I'll title this layer object being a layer that I could draw maybe my object outlines on and under the color field I can click on this color swatch and this allows me to assign a color to that layer a color property meaning any objects drawn while that layer is current will take on that color property for instance I'll set this to cyan click OK you can see now that my object layer has the uh, color property of cyan. Another one we're going to look at is the line type column and you can see that by default it has been assigned a continuous line type meaning that anything drawn on that layer will have a, a continuous solid line. What I need to do now is set this layer current and the current layer is indicated by this green check mark I do this by select, highlighting the layer, selecting it, and click the green set current check mark, and you can see that that gives us a check mark next to uh, that layer's name, indicating that that has become the current layer. Something I'll point out about uh, not only this manager, but many of them, is that I can right click on the title bar and check this auto hide feature. What that'll do is when I scroll off of it, it rolls up on itself, getting it you know, out of your way in the, the graphic display of our drawing area. So we had set this current here, and you can also see that right here we have a layer properties field, and it now uh, lists this layer here, meaning that showing that that's the current layer. And at this point, I'll draw a circle and you can see that it's taken on the uh, properties of our current layer. It's the color cyan and it's a solid line type. As well we can see with a line. Same thing, I've drawn these objects and it's taken on uh, the properties that we assigned. Go ahead and draw some graphics here on this layer. Now we have something representing our object that is drawn on our current object layer. I'm going to create a second layer now and I will call this hidden. It's going to give me a layer to uh, draw all my hidden lines on and again I'll click on the color swatch and I can assign it a, a unique color. Now our layer is titled hidden but you can see that by default it's assigned this continuous line type. I would like to have my hidden layer actually have a hidden line type and I will uh, assign that by clicking on the line type name. That brings up this select line type dialog box. By default the only loaded layer that's available for assigning is this continuous line type so if I want something other than that I need to load the line type and I'll do that by clicking this load button you can see that gives us this loader reload line types dialog box and here's a list of all of the line types that are available to us for assigning two layers I'll select my hidden line type and click OK and you can see that now it's available in this field so I can assign it to a layer. I'll 
select it and click OK. And now you can see that it's assigned the hidden line type to uh, our hidden layer. With it selected, I'll click the green check mark, setting it current, so that now any objects that I draw will be drawn on our hidden layer, taking on the properties of that layer, the magenta color and the hidden line type that you can see here. Again, when I set it current inside the properties manager, you can see that this was reflected up here in the quick properties field. As well, I can use this drop down arrow and get to a list of all my created layers and I can change between layers by uh, simply selecting it here and you can see it's been changed and now anything drawn will be on the layer that I've set current. So once we've drawn an object, it's not stuck on that layer forever. We can move it to a different layer by selecting it, coming to our properties field, and selecting the layer we would like to move the objects to. As you can see, I've now moved the small circle from the uh, object layer to the hidden layer. And you can see that when I select it, it lists it right here. So I can select an object and it will show me the layer that is on by displaying that layer in the uh, properties field up here. As well, once I've created a layer, I can still, I can come in and change the properties. For instance, I'll change uh, the color property of my object layer to green. And you can see that that's now reflected, you know, in the graphics in our drawing. Another function that we have uh, for isolating, for working with layers, is I can freeze objects. For instance, right here under this this freeze column, you can see that right here I have the sunshine. If I click it, you'll see it turns to a snowflake, indicating that it's frozen. And it's removed all the objects on that layer from the graphic display. So that allows us to do a few things. Uh, one, if I have a drawing with a lot of graphics and I need to get some things out of my way so that I can better work on my project, I could simply freeze them and then uh, at a later time when I, when I want to view them or work with them, I can come back into the manager, click the snowflake, and that thaws our layer and you can see that the objects are now back in our in our graphics display. I can also uh, perform this from the properties field up here by simply clicking on the sun or the snowflake and get the same result. One thing to note is that you cannot freeze the current layer. If I do that, you'll see that I get this and it tells me that oh, I can't do that. So if I wanted to freeze the object layer, I would make another layer current and then I can come in and freeze that layer as well. So we're going to take a look at another drawing that I've already created here to, uh, to see some other ways that we can utilize this freeze and thaw functionality uh, to help us set up our printed drawings. For instance, here I have a wrench and some alternate head designs up here. Let's say that I wanted to run a print that did not include the alternate head designs. We'll come into the layer manager and you can see that that I have all the uh, alternate heads isolated to their own layers, such as here the head center lines. I could freeze those. Uh, head dimensions. I could freeze those and the heads layer itself. And now this is no longer in our on-screen display, meaning that when I print this work, 
they they will not show up on our print. So it allows me to draw the whole of a project and freeze different parts of it to create to create prints uh, for specific needs for conveying information only about specific parts of a drawing. So this plays a major role in projects when we're setting it up and it's something we think about when we're deciding which layers that we'll create, you know, what layers are needed to, uh, you know, achieve the results inside of our drawing that we need. So these are the fundamentals and we'll build on these fundamentals, you know, in upcoming lessons because there's a lot of additional functionality that we can do in working with layers. So watch the video and work with these. Start using these concepts inside your drawings. Start working with the layers and have fun.